Okay, so I'm back with the Sublime series and in this episode, we are going to learn about how to use the macros. With that, I'm your host Sarthak and welcome back to Bitfumes. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and Laravel related things. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so let's start this video. In the last episode, we have learned about the snippets. If you have not visited that video, I prefer to visit that but it doesn't matter if you know about snippets or not so in the last episode we have created like this if we type a pub and hit tab we will complete the function so there is another way of creating this and what if if you can record whatever you are doing and you can repeat that thing let's suppose you want to use something like you want to say div and inside here you want to say this is title and you want to create all these things for main time so you have to copy paste copy paste copy paste i think this is not the correct way what you can do if you often use the same thing again and again either you can create a snippet or the macro so how will create a macro so for that you have to just start the macro so go to tools click record macro that means you can always use control plus q to start or record macro so i will just start the recording of macro so whatever i do here this is going to record as macro okay and now i have to stop the macro recording so i will again press ctrl q and it's now started but where is our macro again go to tools and playback macro or use command sh ctrl shift q so i will press ctrl shift and q you can see i have the same thing again and again okay even again even again and you can see the arrow is just after macro so what i can do i can just change this i will again record macro i will say div this is going to record macro and cursor at the last and again press ctrl q it completed the recording of macro now press ctrl shift and q and you can see the cursor is at last okay so i think this is an awesome thing if you want to have a code again and again it you just don't need to copy and paste every time just create a macro and use it every time you want but i'm not happy with this also why because this is for one time that means if i want another I want to create another macro then obviously this macro will gone okay so what we can do we can save this macro we can just save macro okay so here you can type uh, test okay and save this and it's saved now so now instead of pressing ctrl shift and q I can just go to macro user and press test obviously this is also not cool why because i have to go here here and user and test these are the lots of steps but what i want i want a keyboard shortcut so in the next episode we will learn about the key binding that means i will press some key combinations to catch our macro so let's suppose i want to say control alt t it's doing nothing but i want to show this macro i want to trigger this macro test macro so this thing we will do in the next episode so if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me and don't forget to subscribe we will meet in the next episode till then like big films on facebook bye bye